there's no possible way that we can leave this building without dealing with this 3% issue. Today, Republican leaders announced they are united in their opposition to the 3% tax surcharge on high income earners that voters approved in November. Why did it take until late April for this joint statement to come out? I've been saying since Election Day, Paul, um, you know, this 3% has to go. Senate President Mike Thibodeau and House Minority Leader Ken Fredette agree with Governor LePage that having the second highest marginal state income tax rate in the nation will hurt Maine's economy. In the long run, you're going to see less and less revenue coming into, into the Maine coffers because these people aren't going to be here anymore. Democratic House Speaker Sarah Gideon. Have you heard from any folks who say they're leaving or not coming to Maine because of that tax surcharge? I have heard uh, concerns from people about how they will recruit uh, based on that. But we have always heard concerns about income tax. What we know to be true is that when people are making their decision to come to Maine, to stay in Maine, it's based on many, many factors. Factors like education. The new tax revenue will go into Maine classrooms. But what Democrats aren't saying is whether new funding for education needs to come from an income tax hike. It is incredibly important to us to honor the will of the voters and the intent of the voters and what they're trying to achieve. Republicans aren't saying whether they'll settle for something less than 3%, but greater than zero. I don't want to draw specific lines in the sand right now. A state budget must be in place by July. In Augusta, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.